Hey, welcome to my journey into another way in video. I could not wait to get up and wait this morning. I really couldn't. I, was, I couldn't wait. I was excited about it because I just knew. I just knew. So let's just let's just jump on into it, shall we? I weighed in at two fifty point four for a loss of two point two, and that puts me at. Hold on, I'm gonna show you something. What I finally get to do, 125. Okay, let's see. My jar is over halfway full. And I finished at 225 pounds, but I don't think I'm going to lose 225 pounds. I just, I don't think I will. But my jar is over, my jar is over halfway full. Yep. 126.7 mm -hmm. There's something about that 125 just sounds button sounds better than that 100 button which it is better but <laughs> it sounds better listen I am so close to the 240s I can taste it oh my gosh I gotta get there next week I gotta get there next week I mean, this week I had to get 125. I, I just had to, and I did. So I'm hoping the same mojo lasts this week that lasted this past week. Because I'm going to tell you, hold on just a bit. I'm sorry, I was having a yawn and having two vehicles passing by in the front. My neighbor done got him a new truck. He's a bachelor, and he's got three vehicles, like a little one some kind of sports something. I don't know what it is. A uh, Mustang and a truck. He had a, like a bright blue truck. A pretty bright blue truck. Now he's got a gray one. But he, boy, he loves them trucks. He flushes them vehicles all the time. He, all the time, he's wiping them down and, oh yeah. He keeps after them. <laughs> anyway, so... I am so excited that I and I wasn't perfect this week. Not that I can be, not that you can be. I wasn't. I guess you just kind of say that. You know, you don't mean it. Hopefully, you don't. Um, I wasn't. Everything wasn't on plan. Um, seems like we ate out. Oh, we did. We had Chinese. It was Saturday, and I was tired. I told David, I don't even remember what had gone on. I'm like, do you mind if we just... Because I had thought out, how did it go? Y'all know I can't remember yesterday, much less the weekend. I had thought, oh, I had cooked my carnitas, my pork carnitas in the instant pot so I had them done but I was just tired and did not feel like doing all the stuff you had to do for um, burrito bowls I'm like can we just have burrito bowls tomorrow and get Chinese he says if that's what you want to do I'm like I do so I just got wonton soup and some crab rangoons that's all I got I didn't go for the the full Chinese excuse me meal nothing like that which what i like is sesame chicken and um lo mein that's my thing and an egg roll and crab rangoons so it took me like four times to eat that one time soup and i didn't even eat all the soup soup i did get the little crispy things that go in it yeah favorite part but i i did finally get it eat between those two days and then my Rangoons. So, Saturday and Sunday was just kind of weird eating days. No milkshakes, nothing, you know, no desserts. Nothing like that, that just, you know. I mean, you think, 
wontons are off plain as far as they're not full of protein. Because I consider my, my plain high protein. And wontons do not fit that bill. They have that little bitty ball of meat inside and that's all you get. And the rest of it is wonton. But in the scheme of the week, it worked out. You know, I'm sitting here saying that out loud. Maybe that's something if we're struggling, we could shoot for. Instead of giving up and giving in every day, maybe we could say, well, if we do give ourselves one day, in the scheme of the week, how does that fit in? You know how, like for example, when I am making a recipe and I, I'm gonna weigh or measure, I want equal amounts, but then there's sometimes I'm just like, you know what? In the scheme of my week, it's like, okay, take for example, the, um, stop it. The, um, what I'm eating for lunch this week. Um, what is that? The Philly cheesesteak rolls. Instead of weighing the full amount and separating it into four even bowls, I eyeballed four even bowls. So if there's an ounce more one day than the next, in the scheme of the week, it's the exact same amount. The 16 ounces of meat. So in the week, there's still 16 ounces of meat. Whether I eat four one, three the next, four and a half. You see what I'm saying? So, what if you could just say, okay, in the scheme of this week, in the scheme of seven days this week, I'm going to allow myself one day. Maybe not one full day. Let's not say that. Mm -mm, no, that's giving ourselves too much um, leeway because I think we, we might abuse that. Give ourselves one meal. Get out of 21 meals, right? Three times seven. That's if you only eat three times a day. Not counting snacks out of the three main meals a day. 21 in a week. I'm not going to copy all over me. One meal. Allow yourself to have something that you've really been craving, you've got the taste for, you have a, a family out and to go to, you and your husband want to go on a date. Maybe you don't even go out on a date. You stay home for a date. Maybe you make a, a copycat recipe, but it's still going to be a little bit more um, rich than what you would normally eat, even though it's not the one out at the restaurant. Whatever it is, maybe if you allow yourself that one, that one, it would help you stay accountable those other 20. Maybe it would give you something to look forward to. Now, I wasn't looking forward to Chinese because I hadn't planned on eating out. There for a while, I knew I was going to eat out just because of the way I was feeling. I knew every every week, at least once on the weekend, we were going to eat out, and I planned it. Okay, eat out. So, you can do that. I lost weight. Everything I've done, no matter what I've done, I have lost weight. It's just not being consistent. Mm, a lot of that me? Sure. Sure. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like it wasn't. But then some of it is finding what plan is best for you. So once you do, once you shop around <laughs> and you find whatever works for you, then it's up to you to be consistent. You can search for the right plan, find the right fit for your body, your lifestyle. Don't forget, you got to you got to fit your lifestyle. Yeah, it's a diet, but that diet's got to fit your lifestyle. So, like, if if I was, um, um, I don't know, a traveling salesman <laughs> who stayed on the road all the time in motels, I would have to find a plan that would fit into me being able to stay on the road. So, my lifestyle would be on the road as a salesman in the motels, I would have to find the right diet to fit that. So 
that's part of it. Once you find the right thing for you, then it's up to you to be consistent. It's up to you to do what you're supposed to do, to follow the rules. And if I'm like I'm, I'm just kind of spitballing it here. If that's what it takes to keep you in line. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. I hadn't even gone back to edit that and I know how bad it looked. <laughs> if that don't tell you how scared of bees I am, I don't know what does. <laughs> it just came up and started buzzing. You could, it wasn't buzzing, but, but you know, bzz, it was coming around me. Right in front of me and this flower beside of me and it just kept going in front of me. It wouldn't move, it wouldn't move, it wouldn't move. I finally chased it off with my fly flapper. Golly. How do know? Ugh. Where were we? Man, them things scare me to death. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all. Ooh. I gotta get myself. Oh, I'm getting me a haircut today. Yes, I'm going this afternoon to get me a haircut, and then I'm gonna take my school supplies with me and drop them off on the way home. Cause I got to thinking, well, I don't want to go in the morning, cause they're all getting ready for the kids to come in. I don't really want to go during the day while the kids are there, because they're in and out of the. Um, office and I don't want to be like getting in their way when they're trying to get to class and the teachers are trying to do stuff and I don't want to be in the way so I thought well, the best time would be to go when the kids leave for the day before the office workers go home and so since I get my hair cut at three o'clock that'll be a perfect time because I think they all get out of school these around here three o'clock something like that two thirty three o'clock somewhere in that area so that'll be um perfect time to go donate I got them all sitting here on the couch bagged up which bags go to which schools so anyway yeah it's getting long look you see this back here that's supposed to be shame i guess i'll get it cut now and i have to get it cut one more time and then i'll have it ready for my knees my knee what we were saying was what what, what was we saying I think mm, I think if you have to um, if you have to find something to be looking forward to to keep you on playing then I say do it now if having one um, I, I like to be called a treat and call the treat one um, splurge called a splurge we always used to call our splurges we're gonna splurge this weekend well, we used to splurge every weekend. Well, we used to splurge every day, and that's just from the way I cooked, not from eating out. Mm-mm. Listen. We didn't eat out all the time. That got to be more when the kids got older, and then, like, maybe they would be gone, and me and David would kind of get something, and then when they finally moved out of the house, then it really started eating out more when the kids were home mainly the eating out would be to scout for seeing how to make it at home because <laughs> it was cheaper so but yeah my my home cooking put more fat on me than eating out ever did you can believe that so i think that's a good way to look at it maybe i'll i'll look at it that way too because I didn't purposefully set out to have a, um, a splurge. It just worked out that way because I do, I just, Saturdays I get tired. Um, I'm trying to think, well, there was something extra that maybe, oh, cause, oh, that's what I got behind. Cause I got up and prepped, did my video 
and then I had to go right down to Holly's to take a drop cord and so I was down there with Jacob out in the heat playing with him and then I stopped at the Dollar Tree on the way home and yeah I started saying did I show y'all that? I did and so then my day was messed up and I was I had at least got the meat cooked in the Instant Pot. It was delicious. It was some carnitas David had bought and um, marked down. They were pre-seasoned. It was just a, a pork loin roast. That's all it was, pre-seasoned. And I just thawed it and cooked it in the Instant Pot. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Yeah, it was. It made a good burrito bowl. So I'm thinking, Maybe that's a, a new way to look at your your diet if you're struggling if in it if you think every day has to be a treat. No, every day don't. But if you can just pick once, once during the week. I like to think and when I talk about it then I, I get messed up. It is I jinx myself. Y'all y'all know it. <laughs> Cross out that black hat. Mm mm. Black cats are lovely, but I still cross them out. Mm-hmm. That's right. If you've got a black cat cross in front of you, you better cross it out. <laughs> Listen, I'm just telling you. Take your fate into your own hands. <laughs> but I do. I get, I get, I think I jinx myself. Because I talk some good sense to myself. And then I... I messed it up, but I think planning for um, something to even just even if it's something to pick up your mood. You, you see what I'm saying? It, it can be something just to perk you up. Maybe, maybe, maybe you're just. Listen, I have days where I'm down. I was down Saturday. I was down tired, and I, I guess I was down mentally because I, I was not mentally, and it sounds stupid to say it out loud, but I was not mentally prepared to go over there and get out all that toppings and chopping and cooking and this and that. I, I just, I couldn't do it. So if you if you have those days, maybe just a break from that, just, just for your, your mental clarity, because like, like cooking like I used to. Used to it wouldn't have bothered me. I would have worked out in the yard all day long, come in and still made supper. You hear what I'm saying? That was the day. That day ain't no more. No more. But I, I do the best I can do. Honestly, I'm doing better now. I still get tired. I still have, I've lost the weight, but I don't ache as bad as I did with 126 pounds off my body. Oh my gosh, what was I carrying? I was carrying something in. Oh. I don't think it was. It wasn't groceries because I'm getting them delivered at the front and I don't get enough at food line to worry about carrying nothing in the bag. I don't know what I was doing, but anyway. I lightning to just said, seriously, you gonna fall out on the floor from carrying this stuff and you used to carry that on your body? Listen, I can't, I can dang tell you I wasn't carrying no 126 pounds, nothing in my arms, cause I can't pick up like 50 pounds. So I was probably maybe carrying 25 pounds worth of something, we'll just say. Just Whatever. I don't even know what it was, but I just remember thinking, oh my gosh, you used to carry this around on your body? How did you do it? Mmm. I don't know how I did it. So let me just, let me just tell you. Whatever you have to do to lose your weight, do it. I went through five years of diets 
weight loss surgery and Ozempic. And y'all already know this. To finally get to where I'm losing weight. And guess what? I still have those weeks where I gain. So. I am not here to tell you get weight loss surgery. I am not here to tell you go on a weight loss drug. But I am here to tell you if those are your options and you choose them, don't you let no damn body talk you out of it if that is your choice. Because it's your body, your life. Just as y'all don't judge me for doing what I had to do to get this weight off. If the other stuff wasn't working, like we, we've been on here and we've talked about how to make it work. Like today, one of our things today, um, you know about some Jeep, two Jeeps, one there and one there. Had his doors off today. I ain't seen the Blue Beast. I ain't seen the Blue Beast since we've been back out here. Have we seen it in a while? No, we have not. But, like we was saying today, if it would help you to get through the week knowing you had something to look forward to, then do that. If if you're not having a, a splurge now or a treat now and you're struggling to get through your week, maybe implement that. Maybe add that in as your um, something to try this week and see if giving yourself something to look forward to doesn't help you to stay out of the uh, you know it can make all the difference if you're struggling 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 and you want to eat something special every day knowing you're not going to eat anything special any day maybe planning for that one meal that one treat that one whatever it is you want maybe that will help you toe the line the rest of the week until you get there that's something to try I say try it do some I say try anything you think that will work. So, I, all the, the time, all the plans, all the diets I tried over those five years, well, you know, other years of my life I have tried, not not very many, because I really didn't care. Y'all, listen, we've had that discussion. And that, um, sense of I don't give up rats behind what you think attitude there it is nope oh man I thought it was the beast it ain't um what was I saying What was I saying? He was loud and he got me distracted. Distracted. Mm. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. My attitude of don't give a rat's behind what you think of me is kind of what helped get me in trouble. No, no. It did not get me in trouble. It helped keep me in trouble because y'all know we've ad nauseum gone over this, but some, some people are new, some people may not know where my, my mind space has been over the years. It was, I don't care what you think of me as long as I can come and do and go and handle my business. I don't care what you think of me. If you don't like the way I look, don't look. Well, mentality kept me away from dieting for many many years because I have been overweight for many many years not morbidly obese but obese Ooh. oh I don't think I'm morbidly anymore oh my gosh Hey, I'm going to put on the screen what I'm considered. Um, okay, I didn't mean for that to hit me like that. But I don't think 
I don't think I should be considered morbidly obese anymore. Okay, I'm, I'm going to put across the screen right here. Well, I'll put it at the top. Um, what I'm considered. Oh, I hope it's just obese. <laughs> so anyway, that, that attitude kept me from trying to do anything. A time here, a time there. I didn't care enough to really try. So... Piece of machinery on the back of that pickup truck. It's one of those um, like log choppers that makes mulch. It was huge. It holds, oh my gosh, a tree. Not just limbs. Whew. I bet he mortgaged his house for that. He can go around making money. Um, I can't remember what I was saying. I got, I got distracted. I'm all out of coffee. What about that? What's that about? <laughs> um, so, anyway. Listen. Ain't doing too good. Oh, I think we was talking, and I might have got distracted from don't let did something land on me? I tell you there's all kind of things out here getting at me today if, if whatever you need to do to lose the weight is what you need to do then you do it if you come to the conclusion that if you've been on a certain diet plan for years if it's not working for you and you, you're in a drastic situation, I have mega amounts of weight to lose. And what I was doing, whether it be the plan, me, the right plan, the wrong plan, whatever the, the combination platter was, it wasn't working. So I came to the conclusion, I came to the conclusion that weight loss surgery was the way to go. And so, if you come to that, I'm not telling you, oh, you have to stop what you're doing and go get a, a gastric bypass. No, I'm not telling you to do it, but I'm telling you, if you decide to do it, then that's you. Just like Jackie on Roseanne. You know how you tell the difference? You, me. You, me. Preach. That was the Amy in corner right there. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. So, this I will encourage you. Ooh, that was a, a quote in my book. Be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. Be yourself. Be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. Oscar Wilde. Mm -hmm. Scuba, scuba, scuba. is a perfect quote to live by be yourself that's what you listen can't nobody be you better than you that's just the, the fact of it don't try to be somebody else now you can emulate the good ways of somebody like there's someone you admire who does good deeds or you know this that the other you can emulate somebody that that's obviously when you see someone who is a um, an example or a, a good um, a good example of you know whatever stewardship citizenship <laughs> I don't know what, think think of whatever you, you you would want to emulate that's fine because they have inspired you to do better or be better 
in whatever aspect you're in. And it could be your diet. You see somebody that inspires you to do better in your diet because you see how well they're doing. And maybe it's not what they're eating, but the fact that they're sticking to their plan. Maybe that's the part. Um, if you want to try to emulate what somebody eats, then that's on you. Try it. Because I'm here to tell you, do what it works in your diet to lose that weight because you're only going to feel better. You're only going to be better if you get that weight off your body. And so I would just encourage you today to just be yourself. Just don't try to be nobody else. Don't, don't, as far as your personality goes, if you want to try to be a better you, that's fine. Do that. But don't, don't change your personality unless you're nasty. <laughs> don't be nasty. Change that personality. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll tell you that right there. Don't be yourself if you're just a nasty person. Change it to be something fun and nice. Nice. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder how I learned to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I listen to it when I'm editing. Oh my gosh. When I first started talking on these videos. Listen, I'm coming up on, I think, four years. I think I'm coming up on four years on YouTube. And that don't even sound, that don't even sound right. Don't even sound right. But I was already a year into my journey when I started this. And I started this in 2019 and this is 2023. So... Do the math. I'm going to look up. I can never remember the date of my first video. I'm going to look it up and I'll let you know when my, my anniversary is. But when I would first, because I've always thought I'd talk like a hick. I just, and I, I guess when you're in the business world, you notice the difference, especially when you're working with a whole office full of salesmen who have to wine and dine. They learn to speak properly. Well, I always spoke properly with my clients in all the jobs that I had. Unless it was like when I was at the trucking company and I had to go call another terminal, we would just talk regular. You see what I'm saying? That wasn't a customer or a client. That was just just us people just talking. So I didn't have to, like, speak properly. <laughs> but I've been aware that I have an accent, even while I'm not aware. If that even makes sense. Because I think I just sound like people sound down here but then when I hear it played back I'm just like oh are you serious are you even kidding me so when I first started doing these videos and listening to myself I was cringing I was like oh OMG you can't put them out there it got easier now I will sit back there and I just listen to myself just like I'm myself. Like, like I don't even have an accent. I just, I'm just listening and playing. Every now and then something will come across. I'm like, really? <laughs> so guess what? I'm myself. <laughs> okay, well I think I'm gonna quit talking. I can't tell how long we've been out here because did I slip up that coffee fast? We've been out here extra long. I don't know because you know I never look up there at my timer. So I don't know until I go back there and listen. I've been doing these exercises at the bar where I'm like pushing off the bar. So instead of lifting weights, it's like the same principle because I'm working my um and I do my legs, you know, and, and it works my side and different things. This flabby on this arm. Woo! If they would come tell me they gonna cut it off today, I would just be sprawled out. <laughs> I'll tell you that. 
tell you what, I'd say, where and when? <laughs> yes, I would. Yes, I would. I would go through the pain to get these flabby arms off and flabby legs. Mm -hmm. I would go through that pain. Just to not carry it around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going I'm to stop it. I'm going to stop it right there. Let's recap. If you need to set up a um, splurge or treat once a week, do it. If that's going to keep you on track, if it's going to get you off track, don't do it. What, Whatever you need to stay on track, okay, do that. And be yourself. And I'm just going to continue on putting my protein first. That's what I did this past week. I put my protein first. I did last night. Oh, I made some good macaroni and cheese. This is a new recipe. Made it for the freezer. It made a golly whopping mess of macaroni and cheese. It should have made four times the recipe instead of two times. And it really, the recipe was only for one. One casserole. So anyway, it'll come up early next week in a video, another prep once, eat twice video. And, um, but last night I made that and chicken. I ate my chicken first. Y'all know how I've been feeling about chicken. Well, I used that disco chicken seasoning and then I got it for the cheer wine festival. It's good. So while the macaronis was baking, I baked my chicken, and so I went ahead and cut my chicken up, so I could just eat it, and I ate my chicken, and if I still had room, I was going to have me some macaroni, and well, I didn't really have a lot of room, but I ate it, and I was miserable, but it was so good, oh gosh, it was so good, if I had to eat it first, I would have been full, and I would not have eat my chicken, I would, there was protein in, in the macaroni and cheese, because it does have um, cheese in it, but not as much as my chicken, obviously. So I did eat both of those. But that's that's my um, my plan of attack is make sure I eat that protein first because it's it made the difference. I lost weight. I was still able to have some Chinese soup and some crab rangoons, which. Whew, love those things and still lose weight so I think as long as you're doing what is it I read 80 20 90 10 I think you're good I do I think you're good if you're one of these that has to go go 100 or you fall off then that's what you do I'm just here to tell you to be you do you just do what you have to do to lose your weight there that's how we're going to end it okay well guess what Tomorrow is Friday, and we will be on the pickup rise. We will have a live at one o'clock, and there will be some kind of video come up tomorrow morning. Mm, probably this haul from yesterday. I don't even know. Yeah, I haven't filmed it yet. <laughs> I haven't filmed it yet. <laughs> Listen, when I come home yesterday, because I went out, and by the time I got home, I had to jump in and do some cooking and film two different videos, and by the time I fell into bed last night, it was 9 o'clock, and I did not get up till, hold on, hold on, hold on, 6 o'clock. I got up at, I remember it was 2.30 to go to the bathroom, Went back to bed. Got up at six o'clock. I slept nine hours. I hope to my goodness that is just going to be the start of getting me back on track. I wouldn't mind staying up later than nine, just to you know feel more like a regular day instead of going to bed at nine o'clock with the chickens. But so. Lord, that little boy over there has got so big. That was over there when he was born. They don't speak to us. I know who they are, but they don't speak to us. Um, but he's a teenager. Mm-hmm. Hard to believe they've been over there that long. 
gosh. Okay. Gosh, for real, let me stop. Be yourself. Love you. Bye. <laughs> yeah.